Psalm 117. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. That's our desire that all people, in all nations, praise the Lord. His love is towards us is great, and his faithfulness endures forever. And now we read from Proverbs chapter 3, and we read from verse 1 down to verse 26. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them round your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honour the Lord with your wealth with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver, and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies, Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honour. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the Jew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your, sweet will, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not despise the Lord's discipline. The Lord disciplines those he loves. God teaches us through circumstances, both good and bad in our life. He disciplines us and guides us through his word. He disciplines and guides us through the situations he takes us through. The Lord is building us and disciplining us that we may be fitted for heaven. Mark chapter 4 verses 1 to 20. Again Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat on it out on the lake, while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his saying said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. He was scattering the seed. Some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered, because they had no root. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants, so that they did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop, some multiplying thirty, some sixty, and some a hundred times. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. When he was alone, the twelve and others round him asked him about the parables. He said, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside everything is said in parables, so that they may ever be seeing but never perceiving, and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people like the seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. 
Others, like seed sown on rocky places, hear the word, and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they fall quickly away. Still others, like seed sown among thorns, hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some thirty, some sixty, and some a hundred times what was sown. This is a parable, not of the sower. The sower does the same thing. He sows the seed, he throws the seed, the same quality of seed, into all the places. This is actually a parable of the types of soil. And the challenge for us is which type are we? Are we those who hear the word but never take it in? Like a man looking in a mirror then instantly forgetting what he looks like. Are we like those who receive the word uh, but allow um, the first test to cause us to fall away? Or are we like those who allow the deceitfulness of this life, the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of riches to come in and choke the God's word out of our life? Or are we the good soil that produces a crop uh, that brings glory to God? We pray that by God's grace we may be the latter. Lord, we lift up this day to you and we pray, Lord, you will take us and use us in it. That, Lord, whatever our hand finds to do, we may do with all our might and thus bring glory to you. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation. For yours is the power, the kingdom and the glory now and forever. Amen.